Should you learn Java or C Sharp? You reach the right video. Let me explain. This video was brought to you by Diginic Academy, your number one source to learn how to make money programming and get that six figure salary you desire. Our Academy have a wide range of courses, including 3K in 30 days, our mentorship membership program, and much, much more. When you sign up for our free community, you get access to our membership community with like-minded professional who's gonna help take your career to the next level. So let's take the first step to get started and really take your career to the next level with our seven step money guide today. So let's go ahead and click the link below to sign up for our free seven step guide to help you get your career started today. A lot of us, when we start um, our developer career or graduating college from our computer science or starting a, uh, a self-taught class or even a boot camp, you always have the question in the back of your mind, which programming language should I learn first? What's the programming language gonna make me the most money? What I can learn fast? What I can get a job in? Just a lot of different variables that's gonna dictate or confuse you on which programming language you need to learn. That being said, guys, we're gonna cover two of the juggernauts here, C Sharp or Java. Both are really good languages, both been around for a while. I wanna give you guys details on what really you need to be aware of and which gonna be the best for your particular situation. That being said, guys, when I was in college, I didn't learn either. <laughs> I learned COBOL in college, if you've been following us long enough, and I, my specialty is SQL. So I'm more of a database guy, and for me, I use C Sharp a lot but I have friends who use Java more than C Sharp. So it really depends on your current situation. That being said, guys, you can't go wrong with either one. Let your local market dictate which one is right for you. Because let me tell you, um, here in my local market here in Jackson, you have a ton of C sharp jobs. You have Java jobs too, but it leans probably, I would say 60, 40, 70, 30, you're gonna have more C sharp jobs. But you go to other cities like uh, in Germany or even um, other countries, Java is king and they don't necessarily use C sharp like that. So a lot of it's your local market. That's why I tell you guys the, the benefit about big, big, big in bigger cities is you're gonna have your pick of both uh, most big cities you're gonna have a lot of Java jobs you're gonna have a lot of c-sharp job a lot of those enterprise larger companies they use both depending on what their core management system is some people like to use SAP some some pe uh, people used to you like to use Great Plains and Dynamics it all depends on what core systems they use um, some people use the Oracle DB some people like to use of uh, SQL Management Studio. So it really depends on your stack, your technology, really gonna lean which one. So that's why I tell you guys, first thing you need to do, check your local market. So after you check your local market, um, assuming you're in a bigger city, you're good to go. You can just pick whatever one you're more comfortable with, the more in that the jobs line up with your resume and you're good to go. Uh, at this point, if you lean more towards Java or uh, C Sharp, you pick the one that's your favorite. But if you're in a small city, like a lot of you guys are, you have to go with what's in your city. You don't have the luxury of choice in a smaller city. That's why I tell you guys, when you're in small cities, it really limits your opportunity. Not to say you can't work in a small city, especially if you are a senior high value developer, you can work basically anywhere you want. So remotely, you don't have to worry about it. But a lot of you guys may think, well, I, I can work remotely as a junior developer. You see who's getting laid off the most. most of the job most other people on YouTube saying I lost my job are either junior developers or low-end developers who don't necessarily showcase their value or number three they just work for a horrible company I cannot see a situation where a company that's doing good who value technology and you one of their top tier high value developers letting them go because they're too hard to find but if you got a low-end developer who you're paying a lot who really don't bring value you're gonna cut them or they didn't have just showcased that value Value, you're gonna cut them same results or you just a horrible company that just want to cut fat just because everybody else cutting it and it gives you an excuse and a PR uh, reason
reason to do it without seeing and like you are the only company that's doing it so you know you got those type of companies stay away from them um, those are the companies that you have to work for as a junior developer because you don't have any options but high value senior level developers you have no business working for a company that is like that because you have options at this point um, again that's that's why you need to move to a city who whose technology or developer friendly guys that being said guys make sure you make uh, pick a good location to start from guys uh, if you haven't already i give you a list of these cities in my seven step guide top 200 cities that's really going to help you guys take your career to the next level and if you already signed up for my seven step guide I have links below to my premium courses too. So check out those premium courses, guys. It's gonna really help take your career to the next level and really put you in a position to get a job fast. And, and it's not intimidating like a lot of these other technical courses. That being said, guys, let's talk about Java a little bit. Java is backed by Oracle. Oracle is a huge technology company that's been around almost forever. <laughs> as far as the technology years, I'm, from, a, from a technology company perspective, they've been around for a long time. They got money, they got resources, they got a lot of people behind them. They got a brand name, they're very reliable. So Java is going to be stable. A lot of the smaller programming languages that are faster or better in their eyes, they don't have the cachet as a Java or an Oracle. So that being said, a lot of you guys may think, well, there's other newer program lines that's going to take the place of Java. Yeah, probably in, I don't know, 50 to 100 years or when something new comes out. But a lot of you guys are not taking into account legacy application, legacy infrastructure that all depend on Java, that they bet all of their infrastructure, their technology, their business processes, their software stack, all on Java, centralized to their CRM. All the programmers, all the staff, all their computers are tied to this one central system. They just can't get rid of that overnight. So that being said, that's why it's very important that you find companies, the big large companies that back these programming languages and brings a sense of security. Not to say don't necessarily look at other uh, programming languages or just stick with Java. I'm just saying you have to make sure that you know the pros and cons of uh, each programming language. Same with Microsoft guys and C Sharp. Microsoft been around for a long time. It has a lot of infrastructure, cloud infrastructure, got a lot of things going for it. And you got thousands and millions of companies using the operating system, the infrastructure, Active Directory, um, all that stuff is heading to C Sharp if it's not already programmed into C Sharp. That's infrastructure that's gonna be around for years. You can't just come with a new program language that's gonna wipe that out. Um, I'm gonna give you another example. Let's, let's, go, let's go to the side here and, and talk about uh, Python and a lot of these newer languages. You guys look at stuff like Perl. You guys look at uh, what other dying programming language? Ruby, um, Objective C, programming languages that had their spike and then gone away. What was the difference in all of those programming languages? They didn't have a corporate backer that's backing them up at this day as their primary language. Most of the time, if you have a, a huge company like Oracle and Java, Facebook, they haven't been around long enough. Um, they, I think they use Go. Google, I don't know which one used Go, but uh, one is using Go. Me personally, I think Go is good, but it's not a Java or a C Sharp level. It's good for what they do, but to get other companies, other industries to adopt a, uh, a program, uh, a framework like that, or a, pro a program language, it's gonna be tough. Look at Java for a perfect example, guys. You got Java, a lot of the SAP, Salesforce, so many big enterprise companies use this technology. It's really going to uh, be hard to uh, decouple. So at the end of it, right, which one would you pick? Java or C Sharp? Well, the answer is depends. If you check your local market and you got mostly C sharp jobs, pick C sharp. If the same for Java, pick Java. If there's an equal balance of both, lean towards the one that's your favorite or 
the one that in the industry, check out the industry you want to work for. And if that's the one, you stick with that, guys. I'm probably going to be doing more uh, with programming languages that are not necessarily similar or being, because this is a no brainer. You know, you cannot go wrong with either. I'm going to start doing something with, with Python and other ones that makes it a little bit more dynamic to kind of pick a little side here and there. But we'll do that in a later video. If you haven't already, like subscribe to uh, like my videos subscribe to my channel and if you haven't already comment below did you like my video comment below did you dislike my video comment below too and tell me why so we can start a conversation like subscribe to the content and um, if you haven't already seven step guide and my premium courses guys go sign up for that we got some good deals for you now i also put the link to my seven step guide here on the screen go sign up now see you guys in the course peace